Yeah, all right. Video 130. Um, just something today, this might make two cents, about learning self-defense class, self-defense, um, or doing self-defense classes. Uh, I get asked periodically if I you know, would come in and teach a class, a self-defense class, or a s series of classes, or um, ask, you know, do we offer self-defense classes? Um, and, you know, kind of the short answer is, like, I don't really have, like, a um, dedicated regular class that meets just for that. Um, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll teach classes uh, here and there or like a you know, set of classes. But the main thing I want people to always, always know is that like, that's a starting point. You go to a class, like a self-defense class, you know, especially if you're coming from like no knowledge of anything. Um, it's a starting point. You have to practice. If you don't practice like, or build on what you start with, you know, in those classes, it's not going to serve you. Um, that's, I think a lot of people have that misconception about um, you know, learning to defend yourself from an attack or to deal with a confrontation, physical confrontation, um, how to you know, walk away from it you know, unhurt, you know, seriously. Um, and that is, like, it's not like other things that you can go just like an afternoon, like a continuing, con what is it called, a continuing education credit, you know, just kind of like learn this something and listen to some body talk about something and kind of okay i got it um it's something with whenever it's your with your body you have to keep doing it and doing it and doing it over and over again and you have to practice in stressful situations so not just like um you know it's, it's good to learn things like in a you know nice and easy make sure you have a you know, good technique proper form or whatever the case may be but then you need to be pushed because if you're not pushed and like in training, then of course, whenever something really happens, you know, the adrenaline's going, you know, you're not going to re, re, be able to recall everything. You'll freeze, you know? Um, so the best way, you know, to, to get over that is to like, in a controlled environment, really, you know, crank up the stress or crank up the um, physical exertion so that it's not like you're able to think, you know, kind of pushing yourself, pushing yourself so it becomes automatic. Um, so... If you're looking to do self-defense classes, especially like, um, you know, kids going off to college, it's really, you know, kind of common thing for parents to want to make sure the kids know how to protect themselves. And that's great. I think you should do that. Um, but just know that you have to practice it. You can't like just pay, pay and like, receive. It's not like other gifts, you know, goods and services. It's something you have to do the work. Um, yeah, of course, there's always some wise ass to be like, what kind of technique stops a bullet? Um, whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, that's it. So if you're looking at doing those kind of things, do it. All right. Um, otherwise take care of yourself and we'll, we'll talk tomorrow. Okay. All right.